Gazalek Ajaccio's latest effort to find a first league on win and goal came at the Stade de Rouderou against a gang on side looking to win for the third game in a row. Jocelyn Gorvenek made two changes from the team that won at Nice for the hosts with Sloan Privat coming in for Mana Dembele to partner Jimmy Brion up front. And that decision paid dividends in the 23rd minute. Brion, a summer signing from Hanover, showed good understanding with Privat to give his strike partner a second league goal of a season and continue Gazalek's miserable start to the campaign. But history finally arrived 485 minutes into the away team's league on career and 10 minutes before half-time. David Ducortiu, who conceded the crucial penalty against Monaco last week, pulled the ball back perfectly for Kada Mangane to write himself into the Gazalek history books and put them back on level terms. Any hopes of a first goal bringing a first win were dealt a massive blow just four minutes later though. Guinea midfielder Isiaga Silla shown a second yellow card for that foul on Nicola Benazé. So one all at the break, but the league on newcomers' joy had quickly turned into yet more apprehension. Thierry Laurie responded by replacing Khalid Boutaï with defender Pablo Martinez in an attempt to at least get a first point since the opening day of the season. But just after the hour mark, Brion produced a moment worthy of winning any game. The 30-year-old striker showed remarkable agility to flick up a Lars Jakobsen cross and thump a stunning overhead kick past the despairing Clement Mori. The shot too hot to handle for the goalkeeper and giving Brion a first goal since returning to his home country. Gangon continued to press their 10 men opponents back and Mori had to judge Yunusi Sankara's effort well to palm behind. Mori wasn't having a good day though and his error almost allowed Gangon to score again. But Jérôme Limogne spared his blushes by kneeing Christophe Kebrat's shot off the line. Jacques Zua reminded Jonas Lussel that he was still involved in a game. But Gangon held on easily enough for a third consecutive victory, leaving Gazalek still rooted to the foot of the table. 2-1, the final score.